Welcome to Ucanic. Today here on Ucanic we got a GL450 of a 2013 and on this GL450 I'm, I've got a check engine light on and it takes quite a bit to start over or to crank the engine over. So we're going to go through and read the check engine code. We're going to go through and read the code to see what the engine codes have to tell us. So to start with you got to turn your key on to the accessory position and so have the key all the way on but not start the engine and then we've got our scanner hooked up to the OBD2 and then you're just going to hit enter and this communicates with the vehicle we'll just say yes to take care of our it's telling us that our um, engine light is on which we knew that that's why we're reading the code it tells us that there's codes in there then we're going to read the codes and read the stored codes and what we have is a P0016 which says it's the crankshaft position, say a camshaft position, cor correlation bank 1, right, sensor A. So we'll go through the process of, repeat, of replacing that, but what I'm going to show you is, is go to crank the engine. It's going to take quite a bit to start it up. It doesn't just start right up. It really has quite a bit of cranking power. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that camshaft position sensor in bank one, sensor A, so that it won't have so much cranking. It will start right up and then we'll clear that engine code. So with the engine popped up, and this is the oil filler cap, what you need to do is you just need to pop this cover off and this would be the the passenger side of your engine and this is where the bank one is right so you've got bank one on the passenger side bank two on the other side on the driver's side so the bank one position we have a camshaft position sensor here and this is the a and then we have another one down under this cover that's sitting right here it's literally right down there so it's right down under this cover and that would be bank B right but we're concerned about bank A at the moment because that's what the code is saying um, not bank B bank A position center sensor 1 and bank A position center 2 is the one down here and 1 is the intake and number 2 is the exhaust so we're going to go over how you replace this. So first you've got to pull this clip back a little bit and then you squeeze it and pull it off. And then we're going to go ahead and this is a T30. I'm just going to remove the bolt and then just rock this up, pull it out. And then we've got a new one to put in. Make sure that your old, old the O-ring came out with the old one. And then when you put this one in, you're able to get it in there without pinching the O-ring. So you gotta kinda of just rock it in. Good and snug. Then go ahead and hook your electrical connector back up lock it into place by pushing that tab and then this just snaps back into place we put that back into place now let's go inside and check the code slash clear the code and start the the vehicle and we'll start it a few times to double check that that was all we had so we're back in the vehicle we've got the the scanner that is still hooked up You've got to turn the key on to the accessories position. Don't start the vehicle. And then you're going to hit um, the escape button to go back. Then we're going to go to here where we can er erase the codes. We'll go ahead and erase. It's asking us if we really want to do that. And we say yes. And the erase the codes has been done. We can hit any key, any key to go back. And then we'll just hit yes for the moment. And now, we'll start the vehicle. And you 
AC is started right away. And so that was how you replace that. And now just go back in and check your, your codes to make sure that there's no codes that came back on. Thanks for watching. You can't where you can be the mechanic.